All right, everybody, it's Drew Tube. I'm back at you again with another video. Shout out to the Chosen Vessels. Shout out to the Galactic Family and salute to the Drew Nation. All right, let's get right into it. Look, prayer of protection against spiritual warfare and wicked enemies who want to wage war on your mind. You're not going to waste any time with this one. We're hopping right into it. Let's pray. God, I would like you to bless everybody watching this video. Anyone going through uh, people trying to wage war on their mind, let those people lose the war. Anybody trying to stalk us, anybody trying to seek us out, let us have protection. Let us feel safe. Let us be covered by the blood of Jesus. All right. Let us let our enemies fail terribly. All right. Let our enemies fail terribly. Anybody that is coming up against us, give us the power and the strength to ignore. Give us the power to focus on ourselves. There are people out there that are watching our every move and they're trying to distract us because they're playing the devil's game. There are people who we try to explain this to God and they simply just don't care or they may feel that it's something wrong with us because out of either ignorance or jealousy, they don't understand how people could be so focused or so worried about us. Some people, Lord, they're jealous. Even, even over our struggle, even over our trials, Lord, even over our tribulations, even though we're, we're, we're screaming and we're crying out for help, even though we're, we're screaming to God, we're, we're yelling out to God, we're, we're crying out to God for help, all right? E even though we're, we're, we're going through something, even though we're battling and going through what we're going through, all right? Even though we're a soldier on the battlefield, these people are still jealous of our struggle. So there are some people that are aware of what we're going through. They are just jealous and upset because they don't have the favor and they are not chosen. So God, we are dealing with gaslighters. We are dealing with enablers. We are dealing with narcissists people who we have ignored, people who we don't focus on. Lord, our energy is so strong and we are so powerful that there are plenty of evil ones out there who are trying to take us out, waging mental warfare on our mind. And other people who we have tried to explain this to fail to realize or they just don't want to accept that it's us and it's not them. People would rather be popular than have a sound mind, God. Some people would rather go through what we're going through just for the mere attention, Lord, because people cannot stand the amount of attention that we get, God. People cannot stand the amount of eyes that are are, are going goo-goo over us. The eyes that are, are going God, they're going goo-goo and gaga over us. They are staring at us. They are watching us. Some people cannot stand it. And, and, and the fact that we realize that we're being watched. The fact that we realize that people watch us like they do a television show. We're talking about out in real life. People, people get their snacks, they turn the TV on, and they tune into the You Show in real life. All you're doing is, is going to school. All you're doing is going to work. All you're doing is picking up your child. All you're doing is out helping your mom or your grandma or you're just going out with your dad to eat. And your parents don't see it or maybe they do see it. All right, Maybe they're unaware. So, God, we don't have anybody to speak to about these things. Let us find people to, to have commonality with, Lord. Let us find people who, who we have things in common with. Let us find other brothers and sisters who know what we're going through, who are able to guide us and help us and, and help lead us through what we're going through. Let us be a leader to guide and help others through what we have gone through. Lord, let us use our experience to help others, to teach others. To, real, to help them realize that the, the that they can get through as long as they stay with you, Lord. They, they can have a sound mind. They can have their sanity as long as they keep going to God. So, Lord, please protect us. Help us, help us fight. Help us battle against all wickedness, all enemies, all spiritual warfare. Let us step on scorpions and snakes. Let us trample down lions and adders in our mind. Let us have a sound mind. Let us feel safe at all times. Let us know that we are protected at all times. Let our angels guide us. Let our angels protect us. Let us not be afraid and let us not fear. Let us not have any fear when it comes to dealing with the people. Let it comes to dealing with enemies. When it comes to dealing with agents. When it comes to dealing with wicked forces. When it comes to dealing with evil. Let us not fear. 
All right, let us have courage, let us have love, and let us have a sound mind. All right, because we are praying for protection in these days and times. People don't even want us to focus on ourselves. All right, we may be looking at our phone. We may be watching a video about you. We may be learning about you. We may be studying about you. We may be focused on things that are good. And here comes evil. Here comes the devil. Here comes negativity knocking at our door, trying to get us to focus on something that is wasteful uh, of time, that is, is worthless of our time. All they want us to do is focus on them like like they focus on us for nothing, for a vain purpose, just to, to have somebody that they feel is better than them, looking at them, giving them all the undivided attention that they feel they deserve for nothing, for zero. All right. These people want our attention, God, for nothing. They're not doing nothing. They're not being nothing. They're not having nothing. They look at my new car. Don't focus on yourself. Look at me standing over here working. Don't focus on yourself. Don't you pay, they don't want us to pay attention to ourselves. They get jealous when we focus on ourselves. All right, these people hate us just because we're not looking at them and putting our eyes on them, God. That needs to stop. People making loud noises. People will we'll be standing somewhere being peaceful, minding our business. Here comes somebody yelling and screaming. When they're having their com conversation, yelling and screaming, making loud noise just to disturb us, just to get our focus off of you. So, God, let us stay strong in the spirit. Let us stay strong in our mind because there are people that are, are that are doing evil works, trying to distract us, trying to distract us, trying to destroy our focus. When all we want to do, God, is focus on you so that we can have good things in our life, so that we, we, we can manifest good in our life, that we can have good. We're, and, and instead of not having, we're focused on the things that we have. Instead of not being blessed, we're focused on God blessing us. And we don't want anything to disturb that. We don't want anything coming in between that. People are, are doing the most, God, just to, just to, just for our eyesight, just for a look. All right, these, these people are ready to run us over in the parking lot just because we're not paying attention to them, God. We need your protection. We need, we, we, we need your help. All right, we, we need a hedge of protection over us, around us, beneath us, on in front of us, behind us, on our left, on our right. Let our angels protect our every step. Let, let our angels co cover us every inch. All right, let, let us be safe and protected in the wings of God, like, a, like a, a, a duckling in a mother duck. All right, let us be protected, Lord, because these people have jealousy. They have insecurity. All right, some of them watching us through the bushes. Some of them cannot stand the fact that we have God in our life and that we are focused on you more than them. We're focused that we're not going to worship them. And that's the devil in them. All right. When somebody comes around us, God, and they want us to worship them, they want us to, to hold them in high reverence. They're not doing anything for us. They're not doing anything for you. They're not doing anything positive. They, a, lot, a lot of people are narcissistic out here, God, and they want our attention. They want our focus for no reason other than so they could feel better than us and feel good about themselves. But God, it's not our job to people please and make others feel good. God, let us realize it's not our job to people please. Let us break out of the spell of people pleasing, Lord. Let us break out of the spell of codependency, thinking we got to please him and please her and do everything right and not make no mistakes. Let us remove that spirit out of our out of our life, Lord. Let us remove the spirit of social anxiety, God. Some of us had to walk on eggshells our whole life. So now that we're out in public, we may be moving with the spirit of social anxiety. People think that we're soft because we're, 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 we're being mindful. People may think we're soft because we're caring. Lord, crush those people that may try to trample on us and take advantage of us because we got a good heart, a kind heart, a good spirit. Lord, let us not die at the hand of our empathy. God, let us not die at the hand of our empathy. All right, if, if any evil, wicked spirits are out here to seek, kill, and devour, and destroy, Lord, let us keep our empathy to ourselves. Let us keep our goodness to ourselves. Let us not be used and abused and confused out here and misused. All right, let us, let us not have any trouble out here. There's going to be trials. There's going to be trouble, but let us come to you. Let us pray the way. Let us, let us not stay stagnant. Let us advance. 
Let us move forward. Anything holding us back, any any witches, any covens, any warlocks, anybody that casts spells on us, anybody that prays for our downfall, anybody that wishes us negativity, anybody that doesn't want to see us rise, anyone that doesn't want to see us win, let them have the same thing come upon them. Let their negative wishes be upon them, Father God. Let their negative words be upon them. Let their evil spirit be upon them. Let all their negativity take them out like they want to see us taken out. Because that's that's one less spirit we got to deal with. That's one less negative person we got to deal with. So God, please continue to protect us. Please continue to watch over us. Please continue to keep us safe. And please continue to keep us away from anybody that may be trying to do us bad. Because there are people out there, Lord, that are jealous and upset for the, the weirdest, strangest reasons. They're upset for the weirdest, strangest reasons. All right, we, 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 we don't understand evil, Lord. We don't have a mind that understands evil. So God, help us fight through the evil. Help us fight through the negativity. Let us stay strong in the spirit. Let us stay strong in the word. Let us stay strong in love. Let us stay strong in the light because there are people that are trying to crush our spirit and bring us down. Because they see that we're an empath. They see that we're chosen. They see that we got a good heart. And they want to use that against us. They think we owe them something because we have a lot of good to offer. But we don't have to offer anybody anything who doesn't deserve it. So God, kill that people pleaser spirit in us. Kill that codependency spirit in us. Let us know that we don't need to please anybody. If they don't like us, then too bad. So sad. All right. Let us not be afraid of people not liking us. Let us not fear people not liking us. Because if, if we fear people not liking us, whatever is on the other end of them not liking us, that's going to fall upon us. So let us let us focus on let us focus on the people that like us instead of the people that don't. Let us focus on the, the one that is for us instead of the ones who are not uh, for us. Because if we focus on the one that's for us, can't nothing be against us. Can't nobody be against us, no matter how hard they may try. No matter how hard they may try. So, Lord, keep us protected. All right, let us let us let us win the war. Let us win the battle. All right, let, let, let us become strong. Let us not be weak minded. Let us not be weak hearted. All right, because a, a weak soldier will die on the battlefield. All right, so let us not be a weak soldier. Let us be strong. All right, let us be strengthened. All right, let us be wise and let, let us let us be smart out here. Let us let us move with the spirit of intelligence because there are people out here that are smiling in our face. There are people out here who are putting on the fake spirit of, of being an empath, of being a good person, just so they can get close to us. So anybody, God, that's trying to play nice just to get close to us, let us see through it. Anybody trying to play like they got a good spirit just to get close to us, let us see through it. And, and let us destroy that negativity out of our life. Let us destroy that evil out of our life. Anybody who is not meant for us, God, please let them stay away. And let us stay away. Let us have the strength and the courage to endure being alone. Let us let, let us go through the wilderness with courage. Let us go through the wilderness with bravery, with a brave spirit. All right, let us go to the through the wilderness with a sound mind. All right, because when 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 people show us that they're not for us, but then they may try to play us and act nice and think that we forgot, let us not forget. All right, we have a good heart. We tend to look for the good in people. We tend to forgive people. Let us not forget. Let us not forget what these people did. Let us keep them far away from us. Because let us, if, if, if we go back to them, if, if we put them back in our good graces, it's only going to harm us. And, and, and we don't want their karma. All right, so now that we're praying for these people to be removed, let us have the intelligence to not go back around the people, Lord, that want to see us lose. Because we could potentially be putting ourselves in harm's way. So God, keep us away from the people who want to harm us. Keep us away from being needy. Keep us away from being codependent. Keep us away from sharing our love, our empathy, and our good spirit with the wrong people. Lord, let us share all those good things with good people. All right, bring some good people into our life so that we may have something positive to share with and that they may have something positive to share with us. And let us continue to put ourselves first before anything. Let us continue to put ourselves first before everyone so that we don't get misused or abused out here, God. 
All right, I'd like to thank everybody for watching this video. God, thank you for answering our prayers in advance. Thank you, God, for hearing our prayers. Thank you, God, for hearing us out. Thank you for sending the right people. Thank you for sending our angels. Thank you for sending our blessings. Thank you for sending money to people who need money that are watching this video. Thank you for sending people a car who need a car who are watching this video. Thank you for sending people peace who need peace who are watching this video. Thank you, God, for creating opportunities for people to have shelter, people to have homes, people to have peace, people to have everything that they need that their heart desires that are watching this video. All right. And I'd like to close that prayer on that note. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. All right, God, uh, guys, I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. If you stay to the end of this video, some miraculous things and some changes are going to come to you and you're going to start to see your life through a better, cleaner, clearer lens. And that's what it's all about. I'd like to thank everyone for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this uh, uh, another prayer that God uh, blessed me to be able to give to you. Smash that share button, smash that like button, and you already know, don't forget to subscribe and share this video with anybody who you feel could benefit from watching this. I'd like to thank you all. I'll see you all in the next video. You know DrewTube out. Peace.